So if you come over here, this is our full system. Inside a biomedical lab in Torrey Pines, robots are working around the clock to discover medicines to potentially treat diseases like cancer and brain disorders. And essentially we will test uh, 100,000 compounds or hundreds of thousands of compounds or a million compounds against this disease model uh, to try to find potential drugs or at least a starting place for potential drugs uh, for a disease. Mitchell Hull is a principal investigator with the California Institute for Biomedical Research or Caliber. It's a new drug discovery division of Scripps Research. What we try to do here is we try to work on multiple targets for a disease. The two nonprofits recently merged in an effort to bring life-saving treatments to patients much faster. It essentially puts researchers and drug discovery experts, along with their robots, under one roof. The robots, with long mechanical arms, shuffle small cartridges carrying disease models to various equipment. The plastic plates are pulled from a stack one at a time and tested against an expansive library of drug compounds. And it uses a, a pulse of sound to essentially transfer a little, a very small quantity of liquid, usually a potential drug in our case. The robots work on dozens of diseases at any given time. Pohl says they can take months or even years off the normally arduous process of developing new medicines. We're dealing with very small volumes that a human can't transfer. The robots are also uh, you know, more exact, obviously, but they're also faster. They can run 24-7. Bringing a drug from a laboratory bench to a patient's bedside is typically done by for-profit companies. It takes an average of 10 years and millions or billions of dollars for a drug to make the journey from discovery to the marketplace. And it's a monumental task for nonprofit researchers who often have to build their own foundation of fundraising to move their idea forward. But now at Scripps, the process is streamlined. My group focuses on the uh, translation of antibody-based therapeutics and cellular therapies for cancer. Travis Young is vice president of biologics with Scripps Caliber. His team is preparing to launch two clinical trials this year, one for prostate cancer and another for lymphoma. What we're doing there is we're genetically engineering a patient's own cells and endowing them with the capacity to go and find tumor in the patient's body and in a way repurposing the patient's immune system in order to tackle the cancer. Young says the projects demonstrate the ability of a nonprofit to overcome the bottleneck of drug discovery. So it's a great example of how we've taken a, you know, an idea in the lab and moved it forward through these different uh, stages of development. Scripps new model also includes a funding plan. Revenue generated from successful drug developments will be reinvested into more research. Matt Tremblay is Scripps chief operating officer. One thing that's different about a nonprofit versus a commercial drug developer, if we create a drug and we develop revenues from that, we reinvest all of that revenue into further research. So we don't have shareholders, we don't have um, you know, other profit centers, we're a nonprofit. So all that money is reinvested into more research, which creates this kind of evergreen ecosystem for developing new medicines. Here's a clinical assessment of a patient. That, that ecosystem is attracting attention from pharmaceutical experts, philanthropists, and foundation leaders across the nation, including Brian Fisk of the Michael J. Fox Foundation, which supports research into a Parkinson's treatment. We're always looking for sort of innovative ways of accelerating the whole drug development challenge. Fisk saw some of those innovations at a recent symposium hosted by Scripps. Coming to a meeting like this gives me an opportunity, one, really to engage with the scientific community and the researchers doing the hard work, and then I can kind of bring some of those ideas back to my team. Scripps Research currently has 10 drug candidates in varying stages of development. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mitchell Hull and the robots have more in the pipeline. So we work on a lot of uh, neglected disease here and uh, in infectious disease, tropical disease. With 1.7 million people expected to be diagnosed with a new case of cancer this year and hundreds of thousands more afflicted with infectious or neurological diseases, the discovery of life-saving drugs can't come soon enough. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.